Good afternoon, YouTube. I recently did a video titled TIG Welding Cast Iron. I'll put a link to it up above here. In that video, we repaired a broken cast iron handle. If you've been following along with that series, we keep repairing that pan and we're doing it with different processes in different filler metals. But within that video above, I also discussed five different ways that you can tell or determine if a part is cast iron or cast steel. Well, I think that that's a pretty important topic, so I wanted it to be its own video. So, what we're talking about today, five different ways that you can tell if a part is cast iron. Now, I am not an expert in cast iron. There's all kinds of different cast irons out there. Uh, many of you, I'm sure, are much smarter than me about cast iron. These are just some of the things that I found that worked for me. Here's a clip from that video, guys. I hope you enjoy it. In order to determine how you're going to repair this, you got to figure it out what it is you're working with. There are five ways to determine what this material is. The first one we're going to cover was easy. It said right on the label what it was. It said it was cast iron. But if the part doesn't say cast iron on it, you're going to have to figure it out yourself. The second way of determining it is if it's broken, you can look at the grain structure. So you take a look at that grain structure. It's probably gray cast iron is what I'm guessing. That's the most common. And here's a look at the handle piece. Let's compare that to what uh, basic steel would look like. Now here I have a piece of steel that I just bent back and forth eventually until it failed. Now you can see how the grain structure on the steel looks nothing like the grain structure on the cast iron. The third method is going to be a spark test. I'm going to start out by grinding here. What I want you to do is watch the color in the shape of the sparks. You'll see that on cast iron that the color uh, tends to be the brightest at the end of the spark. And then I'm going to grind my steel uh, table here and you'll see that it's bright orangey and the sparks develop right basically at the grinding wheel and they extend out. If you're trying to determine if your part is cast iron or cast steel, Here's a great example. Cast steel will look like this, the same as mild steel. The sparks originate at the abrasive disc and work outwards, versus cast iron, they seem to originate outwards. The fourth way to determine if your part is cast iron or steel is to drill it. Drilling cast iron looks completely different than drilling cast steel. Let's take a look. As you can see, we have a long crack that extends the length of this. We have to stop drill this uh, to prevent this crack from continuing on. If you just weld this up, this crack will continue to migrate outwards. Take a look at that. It's more of a filing than a chip. Very short, almost looks graphite-y. Um, very different than a, than a steel chip. Let's drill some steel and compare it. So here's our mild steel, and this is the material that it removed from it. You can see the bright and shiny curly cues. They look nothing like the powdered dust that came out of that hole. And the fifth and final test is called a file test. What you can do is you're going to take a file and just run it on the edge of your, of your material piece. That bit right in, that's doing a nice job of filing. Yep, that's cutting, cutting right in as it should. Now my next step is to put a blast tack. I'm at about 150 amps right on the corner there. Now if this is cast iron, this file will skate right across that because the heat will cause the metal in the cast iron to harden.
skating right across. It's not even touching it. It's just like a uh, ball bearing. Look at it. Not even touching it. So I feel pretty confident that the five tests that we just talked about have determined this to be cast iron. But for those of you that don't believe any of these tests, feel free to write down into the comment section that it is absolutely without a doubt cast steel. <laughs> those new pans are all cast steel. It's the older stuff that was cast iron. Your spark test was wrong. My uncle Skeeter welded this once with MIG wire. It has to be cast steel. If you do your test and it turns out to be that it's cast steel, you just repair it just like you would mild steel or anything else. You don't have to do anything fancy. You don't have to do preheat, postheat, or any of that stuff. So if you guys want to know more about cast iron welding or different processes, I've got a series that I've started doing all different processes with some with preheat, some without preheat, some with postheat, some without, some with control cool down. We've got TIG, MIG, stick, nickel rod, 7018, bare MIG wire, you name it. Uh, we've got it in that series. So I'll put a link up above here for that and I'll put one down below. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. Until next week, stay safe, everyone. Have a good day. Oh, and if you guys want to find out what I'm working on before it even makes it up to YouTube, you guys can catch me on Instagram and on Facebook. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. See ya. Come, 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 come.